What's up, YouTube? I'm Josh. This is another episode of Beard Meets Flavor. Today, I'm going to show you how to make our How the Grinch Stole Christmas Green Chicken Chili. Stick around, we'll show you how we did it. All right, so first thing we need to do is deal with our veg, V E G. All right, so I'm just going to take some onions, rough chop these bad boys, and then I'm going to throw them inside the old, uh, the old ninja. Okay. I didn't like those ones. They looked a little, a little sus, as the kids would say. Try not to cut your fingers off. All right, so one onion. Just a regular old onion. Okay. Then we've got some supporting uh, characters. These are Anaheim chilies. And now we're making chili. So you could do whatever you want. You could use whatever peppers you want. You make it more spicy, less spicy, no spicy. Um, these Anaheim chilies are really, really, really aren't going to give heat. It's just going to kind of give that nice, earthy, peppery flavor. Again, keep your fingers intact. Okay, so we got enough in there right now. I'm going to blend this off camera because it's loud and obnoxious. I'll come right back. Okay. All right, so we chopped it up. Um, I'll kind of show you. So we're just going to chop these hollies here. Come here, Jack. Okay, again, use different peppers if you want less, more, or no heat. Uh, that's kind of what I love about chili is... There is no right way. There is no wrong way. It's your way, folks. These are poblanos. Again, no real spice, just lots of nice earthy flavors. Okay. Get this little. They're kind of like bell peppers. I got the little seed nest in there okay pop these bad boys in there oh you know what we're gonna do we're gonna take a little bit of cilantro just one head of cilantro okay stuff that down in there blend we'll come back Okay, here we have our mixture. You, you can see, you can see, it's not like pureed. You know, there's still a little texture. She gave me eyebrows when I said that, which means it looks pureed to her. No, because you said you can see, and I was just telling you. About oh, she can't see because our lovely camera wife, she's got bad eyes. She's going into LASIK, whole thing. Stay tuned. Um, all right, so we got that. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to deal with the chicken. Um, so let me grab the chicken. Do, do, do. Do, do, chicken. Chicken. Okay, flip it over. Got our little groovy dude. All right, so for the chicken, Real simple. You can kind of do this a few ways too. You can throw the chicken in with the soup um, or the base, whatever you want to call it, and let that cook. And you can kind of shred the chicken if you want. We don't want that. We're going to do some chunks. So we're going to take the chicken. I'm going to cube it up and then we're going to cook it in a pan on its own. But first, we're going to start by getting rid of the little bakeries. She's She's looking at me again. Means I'm either doing something incorrect. No, I'm just looking no? at you. No? Okay. All right. How's that for chunk size? And then we'll go back, you know? Yeah. Okay. So I'm making this at Camera Wife's uh, request. She wanted chicken chili. We saw a couple of videos or a video the other day 
on chicken chili. She said it looked good. She wanted me to make it. So I, uh, I obliged her. All right, so we're going to do that, continue to cube up the rest of the chickens. Uh, we'll come back with a hot pan. Uh, we'll rock and roll. See you in a sec. All right, so we got the chicken all cubed up. Uh, a total of five chicken breasts is probably too much, but it's what we had. So I got a ripping hot cast iron pan. You don't want to overcrowd the pan. Because I'm overcrowding the pan. That's kind of why I set it. But basically, I just kind of want to get this stuff to get some good color. And again, it's, you know, and some texture and all that stuff. So I'm using chicken breasts. You can use chicken thighs. You can use uh, rotisserie chicken. You can use chicken necks, chicken feet. You can use, I mean, I guess it, any part of the chicken, as long as it's chicken, because if you don't use chicken, it's no longer chicken chili. It's something completely different, right? So I'm going to season this. Some salt and pepper. Keep it real simple right now. The dog's eating onions. Ran out of salt again. But you know what? We're going to let this cook for a little bit. We'll come back. See you in a sec. All right, so we've got the chicken cooking on the back there. We're going to go ahead and start with uh, our veg. Okay, so we're just taking all that jalapenos, the cilantro, everything. We're going to dump it inside this Dutch oven and let it cook. It's going to be one of those videos. It's going to be one of those videos. You know, the kind of video where we run out of gas, we run out of salt, we run out of everything. So I'm going to throw this on the stove. We're going to cook it up a little bit, bring it up to temperature, get it nice and, you know, fragrant, cook down a little bit, and uh, we'll keep going from there. I'll see you in a sec. All right, so we're kicking it old school because we're out of propane. I'm not going to go get more propane. We're just cooking this stuff, right? So we've cooked down the veg. Uh, you know, you can kind of see a lot of the moisture has come out. We're ready to rock and roll. All right, so we're going to pour in about four cups of broth. Okay, it feels like four cups. Look at this. Nice green. Butamus. Okay. All right, so now we're going to add in um, some beans. I got two cans of cannellinis, and I got one can of the Great Northern Bean. Because who doesn't want a little Great Northern Bean in their life, right? Oh, oh, no. Don't put that in there. What is the uh, people that come check on restaurants and stuff like that? Hmm. No, they, like, make sure... Like OSHA? Yeah, yeah, but not... For restaurants, you know. Okay. The health department. Health department. Health department would be pissed if they found a cannellini bean lid in my chili, right? All right, so now we're going to take our chicken and all the juices. Okay. Get, in, get on in there. Look at that. Super aromatic. Tons of vegetable, tons of chicken, little bit of bean. And we're going to bring this up to temperature. We're going to add some corn, a little bit of seasoning, and then we'll eat it. See you in a sec. Okay, so we're going to start seasoning. Um, I'm going to do about a tablespoon of chipotle chili powder for a little smoky heat. Same thing with the garlic powder, about a tablespoon. For that garlic, smoked paprika, and to give it that nice 
Ooh, man, that smoked paprika. Some cumin. Do about a half tablespoon on the cumin just so it, because cumin's a pretty gnarly, it'll really kind of take over, okay? And then we're gonna salt and pepper to taste. All right, I'm gonna grab some corn real quick. I like these uh, fire roasted corns. The dog is gonna kill me today, I think. Okay. Let the kids have corn. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna mix it, mix this, let it come back up to temperature because that corn's gonna suck all that temperature out. And uh, let it cook for a little bit. We'll come back, plate up, eat up. See you in a sec. All right, here we have it. Our How the Grinch Stole Christmas green chicken chili. Next on the list of purchases is a proper ladle because this is going to take a week to fill up. Uh, but, you know, we haven't talked about Smell-O-Vision in a while. This smells amazing. Super bright, fresh, kind of green chili-ish. All right. How's that look, Ben? Great. Good. Momentito. Clean off these sides here. Take a gander at that. Right? Nice and steamy. All right. So now we're going to top it. You can top with anything. We're going to start a little shredded pepper jack. Okay. I don't know. Where do we want to go next? We're going to do a little bit of sour cream. Okay, we're going to do some avocado. Fresh cilantro. And some scallions. Okay. We're going to do, forgot limes like an idiot, but a little bit of lime on top. I'm going to take some of these little yes strips. Not too much. How's that? Too much. Too much. All right. Oh. Okay. Come on, guys. Okay, that was it. We're done. We're going to take some photos, and we're going to taste. All right, guys, here it is. Uh, we're, we're there. You know, didn't take too long, but it wasn't like super, super quick. But it was pretty easy, and I think the outcome is going to be delicious. So let's give it a shot, see how we did. Stuck around this long, do us a favor, like, subscribe, consider telling a friend or two, help the channel grow. Let's let's dig in. Let's let the beard meet the flavor. So we got, I'm gonna try to get a little bit of everything. Sour cream, chicken, cilantro, I got avocado. It's very it's gotta be warm. Let it cool down a little bit more. Woo! Okay. But good news is that's delicious. Flavor is super bright, delicious. You can really taste the green, the, the, the peppers and things like that. Chicken is nice and savory. It's warm. It's perfect for a snow-covered winter day. So... We're in Vegas. We don't have much snow, but every now and again. Uh, so do yourself a favor. 
do your family a favor. Warm up with a bowl of this. Thanks, guys. We'll see you on the next one.